Hello everyone, I'm Shweta. I'm a certified linguist from the University of Cambridge and an English teacher at the English School of London. Today I'm here to do another interesting lesson with all of you and the lesson is called the five difficult to pronounce English words. So this lesson today is a lesson on pronunciation and it is for the intermediate and the upper intermediate students. Please keep three things in mind while we run through the lesson. Number one, watch the complete lesson. Number two, ask questions in the comments and we'll have our teachers respond to those questions. And last, download the PDF of this lesson on Google Classroom. All right, so are you ready to start this exciting lesson on pronunciation? Great, lovely. So one thing we keep in mind is that in English, we don't have a perfectly regular system of spelling. So while we may spell a word in a certain way, we may pronounce it in an absolutely different way. And that's why this lesson is so important. So let's start with the words. Let's look at the first one today. What is this word? How do you pronounce it? You often order this in the restaurants, in the Italian restaurant. It's one of my favorite, favorite uh, cuisines. And do you tell the person who's taking the order to bring a spaghetti? No, actually the pronunciation is spaghetti spaghetti okay i hope you get the sounds right spaghetti and next time when you go and place an order you know what to say the second word is hyperbole hyperbole uh -uh. it is hyperbole can you repeat it after me hyperbole that's right Hyperbole. Okay, let's look at the next one. Hmm, this is a difficult word, isn't it? So this word is conscientious. 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 Can you repeat this after me? Conscientious. That's right. Okay. The next word, so simple. What do you call it? A tomb? Is it a tomb? It's actually called tomb. What is it called? Tomb. That's right. Next one. Okay, this is a very common word that we usually come across, um, get to hear in the forces and Usually people say lieutenant. No, so this is called lieutenant. Lieutenant. Can you repeat it after me? Lieutenant. Excellent. Very good. This word, amazing word, whenever we go to a Starbucks or any coffee shop, what do you want to order? Usually I order this. And I say, I want a cup of espresso. Yes, that's right. It's called espresso. Espresso, not espresso. Okay, espresso. All right, great. Moving on. Familiar with this word? Yes, but how do you say it correctly? It's called library library. We often make the mistake of calling it a library, but it's called a library. Library. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead. And this word, this word is pronounced supposedly. Can you hear it again? Supposedly. So there's a z sound. It's not supposedly, it's supposedly, supposedly. Okay, great. 
Let's look at the next one. Hmm, this word comes in handy when there are legal documents, etc. And this is called an affidavit. Yes, an affidavit. David. Affidavit. Excellent. Okay. What is this word called? It's called an asterisk. Asterisk. Can you repeat this after me? Asterisk. Absolutely correct. Okay, this is such a simple word. How do we say? Do we say catch? Catch. What is it? It's actually called cash. Cash. That's right. Cash. Next word. I have a friend who has this condition and usually we end up saying so-and-so is asthmatic. But the correct pronunciation is asthmatic. Can you say this after me? Asthmatic. Asthmatic. Very good. All right. ETC. We often use it after so and so and so and ETC dot. What is it called? It's called etc. etc. Excellent. Very good. Next word. Any guesses? Fort? No. It's 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 pronounced as forte. Forte. Okay, forte. Very good. Let's look at the next word. Is it a tough one? Let's make it easy. Let's break it into two. This word is pronounced as hierarchy. Hierarchy. That's right. Hierarchy. Excellent. Hmm, this one is one of the most important things when you want a good sandwich or a good burger and it's called mayonnaise. Uh-uh, that's wrong. It's called mayonnaise. 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 Absolutely right. Okay. You want to take your clothes out of your cupboard. Not cupboard. Cupboard. Say it after me once more. Cupboard. That's right. Okay. This is a word which we often use in the English language many, many times when we're talking to people. And we usually pronounce it incorrectly saying aren't. Aren't. But that's a wrong pronunciation. The correct one is aren't. Aren't you going? Aren't. Okay. All right. Great. What is this? Is this higher hair? No, it's not. Actually, the H is silent. It's called air. It's called air. Wonderful. What is this word? How do you pronounce it? Aha. Uh -huh. You're guessing it wrong. It is Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat. Exactly, correct. All right, everybody wants an upgrade in the hotels to this category of room, which is called a suite. Not a suit, a suite. That's right, suite. Very good. All right, now let's look at few more. F-O-Y-E-R is not foyer. It's foyer. Can you say this after me? Foyer. Foyer. Very good. See those um, things popping on your WhatsApp which your friends send you? What are they called? G-I-F? GIF? No, it's called a GIF. That's right. It's a GIF. All right, this word. Ah, it looks like very complicated, but it's very simple. Let's break it. It's called larynx. Larynx. You're right. Larynx. Very good. 
this word it starts with a c o n con she's mm -hmm. con she us no it's called conscious conscious can you repeat this after me conscious absolutely correct all right so these were the words that we learned today how to correctly pronounce them do use them as much as you can the more you practice the more fluent you'll become and if you did like this lesson do subscribe to the channel all right and do log in to the english school of london.com fill this form to speak english like a film star i'll see you very soon with another interesting lesson until then goodbye